Something called wellness travel has been exploding after the pandemic. The Global Wellness Institute reports the U.S. is by far the world's top wellness company economy valued at $1.2 trillion. And in Travel Tuesday, CBS News correspondent Wendy Gillette reports on what travelers are seeking in the wellness community of Scottsdale, Arizona. The Savannah Wellness Resort and Spa lured Denver resident Victoria Hartman to the Arizona desert a couple weeks ago. My goal was to try new classes and new experiences that I hadn't before. And so I signed up for a lot of activities that I wouldn't normally have done. The resort in Scottsdale offers spa therapies like cranial sacral massages and dozens of classes a day, including sound healing for joy, intention candle making. So it really becomes a very intuitive practice. And the journaling for transformation class Hartman sample. I've come home and I've decided to try my hand at journaling. I've never done it before. Increasingly, stays at the resort are focused on a similar experience. We're seeing more guests participating in our workshop classes uh, where they can learn about uh, tools they can take home to bring happiness and wellness into their lives at home. In a 2023 survey by American Express Travel, over 70% of respondents say they're more focused on self-care than they were a year ago. And almost 60% are planning to take extended trips centered around wellness. It's why around 20% of guests at Victoria Jungfrau Grand Hotel and Spa in Interlock in Switzerland are scheduling four to seven night stays. It's to find the inner calm, to, to, to think differently. We stayed at these hotels for special rates, including Anantara Leyen in Phuket, Thailand, where travelers are seeking calm through the resort's three-day sleep restoration program. Since COVID, I think people are coming with an awareness of the importance of sleep and other lifestyle factors and how they impact on the immune system. It's part of prioritizing health when it comes to booking travel. Wendy Gillette, CBS News.